when we think of cyber attacks, we worry about ourselves, our bank accounts, our credit cards, our children. But you know who we forget? Our parents, our grandparents. And here's the scariest part. Do you know who the number one target, who the main victim of cyber attacks are? People over 65, those that are retired, because they might not have enough money, they might be looking for a way to get an additional investment, they haven't grown up with computers, they don't understand the technology, and they fall victim to these scams. Yet we are doing minimal to protect them. I recently did a survey asking people, who do they talk to about cybersecurity? And you know what scored zero? Zippo? Our parents and grandparents. They talk to their children, they talk to their coworkers, they talk to their banks. But when I asked how many people talk to their parents and grandparents, it was Zippo, zero. No one does that. Why? Why are we not protecting these great people who helped build this country, who raised us, who made us who we are? who made this amazing nation, this amazing world, what it is, and we're not keeping them safe. And the scariest part is they have spent 50 years building their savings and they can lose it in five minutes. I see it all the time. Let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you got a call today from your parent or grandparent saying they fell victim to a scam and lost their entire life savings? It unfortunately happens. That's a call you don't want. So you pick up the phone and you talk to them. Make them aware, don't trust emails. If the email's talking about a get rich, skip, a get rich quick scheme or a Nigerian bank scam or anything like that, don't click on the link. Don't open the attachments. If we can make our parents aware that emails are dangerous, don't trust emails, don't ever click on a link, don't ever open an attachment and don't ever believe a scam, we can keep our parents safe. So let's work together to protect our parents, our grandparents, the great people that raised us and made this nation and this world what it is. Let's keep them safe in cyberspace.